Item number SCP-103, Object Class Euclid, Status, Recontained. Special Containment Procedures SCP-103 does not require any specific or strict containment procedures. If SCP-103 begins to show any signs of distress or erratic behavior, SCP-103 is to be moved to a 5 meter by 5 meter room while awaiting medical examination. Update not applicable. See Addendum 103 A and B. SCP-103 is to be maintained in a medically induced vegetative state to ensure compliance. It is to be kept alive with regular data expunge, certain that the incisions are not allowed to heal, keeping SCP-103's stomach cavity exposed at all times. Class 4 Foundation Restricted Medical Kit is to be employed by all personnel interacting with SCP-103. All redacted from SCP-103 are to be incinerated. At no time should any personnel come into unprotected contact with any object or substance removed from SCP-103. Description SCP-103 appears to be an average human male in his mid-40s. Subject has been measured at 190 centimeters in height and weighing in at 100 kilograms. Subject was born in 19 beep. The subject has no known living relatives at this time. Subject checked into a small local hospital in mid-April at approximately 9.30 p.m. The subject explained to the doctor on staff that he had not eaten for weeks due to not feeling any effects of hunger. After an initial examination, SCP-103 appeared to be perfectly healthy despite his condition. SCP-103 continued to explain to the staff that he didn't feel any need to eat. Upon obtaining and studying SCP-103, it appears that any solid or liquid coming in contact with the inside of SCP-103's stomach disappears instantaneously. Despite this condition, SCP-103 appears to be perfectly healthy. At this point, it is unknown how SCP-103 obtains the nutrients that a human would need to survive or where the provided food ends up after consumption. SCP-103 does not expel any waste. SCP-103 has reported becoming thirsty, as a normal human would. Due to this, a standard cooler with 12 bottles of fresh spring water are to be delivered to SCP-103's room at 6.30 a.m. every morning. SCP-103 has shown no signs of hostility towards our staff occasionally engaging in conversation and board games provided by the staff. Update. See Addendum 103B. Addendum 103A. All testing to date has been inconclusive. It is unlikely that further testing will teach us anything new. Research terminated. Subject released, but to remain under observation and report for mandatory medical examination on a monthly basis. SCP-103 has been provided with a means of contacting Foundation personnel in the event of a change in condition. Research logs are to remain on file. Addendum 103-B on BEEP. SCP-103 reported to a Foundation medical facility. SCP-103 was observed at this time to be vomiting copious amounts of blood in access of BEEP liters. This blood did not match SCP-103's blood type, nor did it date or expunge. A stomach pump procedure was attempted, but failed due to the volume of blood being produced. With n beep hours, blood flow ceased. Shortly thereafter, Foundation medical personnel initiated an exploratory surgical procedure. Upon opening SCP-103's stomach cavity, Dr. Yoon noted several protrusions along the outer lining of the stomach in an approximation of a human face. When Dr. Yoon attempted a biopsy, the protrusions suddenly retreated, implying that they were the imprint of a foreign body inside the stomach. Dr. Yoon was instructed to continue the exploratory procedure and performed admirably. His reluctance was noted on record and will be submitted as evidence to the hearings of Supervisor Beep's court-martial procedure. When his stomach was opened, Data Expunge Euler to Cystoid Data Expunge fatalities include Dr. Yoon, Research Assistant Sims, and Research Assistant 
to Enfield. Medical Supervisor Beep's negligence is under review. SCP-103 has been reclassified Euclid and recontained with updated containment protocols.